So how do you trade in this kind of environment? Very cautiously, tight stops, don't put your neck on the line uh, in these markets. I mean, the, the fact that Trump signed off on TP, TPP withdrawal was actually part of the original campaign. And in fact, Hillary Clinton was on board as well. So the fact that it's not new news doesn't really matter if you take a deep breath. The markets are reacting. What is new news is now uh, Malcolm Turnbull of Australia saying, actually, let's try to salvage this accord yep. and open the door to China, which turns the whole premise of this on its head. A and then Abe has said, let's, let's just wait and calmly see if Trump uh, recognizes the value <laughs> to this, um, whatever that means, because, I mean, he's already said that he's withdrawing. Yes. But the fact that the door is open for China, I mean, what does this do in terms of uh, the Aussie dollar and the Kiwi dollar, with New Zealand also being part of this? Well, for, for a while there, I actually thought Aussie and Kiwi could be quarantined from this event, just given that being from a Canadian bank, we were worried more about NAFTA. And NAFTA is firmly on the sites of, of the Trump administration as well. The, the issue with the TPP, I guess I wasn't that big a fan. We, were, we, as in Australia, we already had trade agreements with New Zealand, China, Japan, Korea in, in recent years. So we've probably already set our destiny as, as part of this, this agreement. I guess the reason why we liked the TPP was it actually brought the US into Asia. And as we know, it sort of carved out China. The whole point of the TPP was carving out China. Because to China was... China's rise. Well, because yeah. China was working on One Belt, One Road. It was working on the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. So and China was doing its well. own thing. Yeah. So this, in a way, this is the US's way of saying, well, we can access Asia as well. So the fact that, that the Trump administration says no TPP, that tells us that they don't want to roll in Asia. And as we know, Xi Jinping in Davos only just finished giving a speech on globalization. So now, ironically, now China looks like the global player, mm -hmm. whereas as the US is withdrawing. How do you trade that? I don't know. What are we doing? We're buying yen.